Hey guys, it's Ben, and I am doing something slightly different. The Empire in uh, Skyrim is planning on attacking Windhelm, the head city of Stormcloaks. The Stormcloaks. So I'm not sure why I'm recording this, but I just want to say that I'm going to do this thing, get the orders, and then it's only going to be the gameplay. I'm not going to be using my audio, my own voice, to record it from then on. So, let's go get our audios from Mr. Tardius. He's located at the Windhelm, outside Windhelm. Uh, so that's it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. The attack on Windhelm. Jesus, that's loud. No shit. You then are the best and the brightest warriors in Tamriel. Professional soldiers. Fearless and devastating. The Emperor will be paying close attention to what happens here today. Men who distinguish themselves will be well rewarded. Yeah! Woohoo! Now. Woo, okay. I said my piece. Frick Meet the soldiers Vault. gathering for the attack. You Move are it. guilty of insurrection, murder of imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. Here to accept ah! the escape from me this time any last requests before I send you to to wherever you people go when you die Sovngarde sir right well let the dragonborn be the one to do it it'll make for a better song song or not I just want it done Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah! 
Talos be with you. What was that, Legget? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. And we'll need to hand the city over to that free winter fellow. Runwolf, yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm will need a government quickly if we are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Legget. It's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. Well, that's that. There's his bodyguard, and well, there's Ulfric. Looks like now we have to deliver a speech, I believe. Let me check that. Let's see. What's going on? I don't know. Let's just leave. Winterhold, sorry, no, Windhelm will have to have quite a bit of rebuilding done. The rebellion is over. Ulfric Stormcloak is dead. They look like they're happy. To Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful... Never heard of him. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. <laughs> but they seem happy about that. Especially me. All hail the Emperor! All hail his legionnaires! More people cheer this time. I hate giving speeches. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a martyr. That's hope. There's bound to be resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. I pray you're right, Lady. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rekka. There's still much to be done. Oh. Yes, you guys are off. Thanks. Thanks. Couldn't have done that without, without you. you. I'm not so far with them still they're going. In the cold, as brothers. Okay, we got, good to know. Just can I... Now that we're at every piece. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large, the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. But we'll keep that between the two of us, right? Okay. Anything for them? Ulfric is dead and his army destroyed. There's not much more I could ask of you. The gods, however, I suspect, may have plans for you elsewhere. That said, Stormcloak true believers are still operating out of hidden military camps in the hills. If you encounter any on your travels, kill them. No problem. They'll soon lose heart and return to their homes and families. If not, Andrew, your turn. I can't, can't say, say I'll ever get used to the damn <laughs> cold or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of carving a man down to his true self. Well, you want to be able to... If you, you may not have to understand or like the Nords, but considering the fact that you're living in a place where there's so many of them, you're going to want to have to be able to respect them and their ways. And now, time for the reactions of the death of Ulfric Stormcloak. Aye, that I do. I ain't saying he was perfect, but he knew what it meant to be a Nord. The Empire's always taken us for granted. Nords died by the thousands in the Great War. And what did the Empire do? 
They outlawed the worship of Talos, Skyrim's most beloved son. Huh, there's thanks for you. I guess what I'm saying is, Ulfric stood up for us, and for all Skyrim. So who's gonna stand up for us now? Well, not yet. The Empire hasn't been in charge for that long, and real change takes time. Still, having a just and honorable man like Brunwolf in charge can only be an improvement. Unlike Ulfric, Brunwolf has shown a great willingness to work with the other races and make us feel more at home here. For the first time in a long while, I truly believe that there are brighter days ahead. I make no secret of it. I don't care if the Empire controls the city or not. I won't hide my loyalty to the dream of a free Skyrim. Ulfric fought for that dream with more courage and honor than any Nord who ever lived. But now he's gone. And the dream is gone with him. But I'll be ready when a new leader takes up the cause. As sure as ice is cold and stone is hard, I'll be ready. I don't care what the Imperials say. When Ulfric Stormcloak died, one of Skyrim's greatest heroes was lost. Now at last, the Thalmor will get their way. The worship of Talos will finally be stamped out. Or so they think. Those true sons and daughters of Skyrim will never cease to worship mighty Talos. If we cannot do so in our temples, we will do so in our hearts. Oblivion, take the Thalmor. I'll never give up Talos, not even if it means my life. Let them come and make me a martyr.